Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a crazy story to share with you all, the tale of what happened when Blue Ivy, the daughter of Beyonce and Jay-Z, found herself in a very unexpected and difficult situation. This story has all the drama, emotion, and unexpected twists and turns that you could ever want. So sit back, relax, and get ready for an engaging storytelling experience. It all started a few months ago, when 20-year-old Blue Ivy was happily dating her boyfriend of two years, a guy named Jamal. By all accounts, they seemed like the perfect couple, madly in love, always laughing and smiling together, and planning a bright future. Blue Ivy had even hinted that she thought Jamal might propose soon. But one fateful night, everything changed in an instant. Blue was at Jamal's apartment, and they were just enjoying a quiet evening in together. Little did she know, Jamal had been feeling increasingly stressed and anxious lately. You see, Jamal had recently lost his job, and he was struggling to make ends meet and pay his bills. The financial pressure was really starting to weigh on him, and he was feeling insecure about his ability to provide for Blue and be the kind of partner she deserved. So when Blue casually mentioned that she was a few weeks late on her period, Jamal's world came crashing down. In his mind, this could only mean one thing, Blue was pregnant. Jamal immediately flew into a panic. He started pacing around the apartment, running his hands through his hair and muttering under his breath. Blue, confused and concerned, tried to calm him down and figure out what was wrong. But Jamal wasn't having it. You're pregnant, aren't you? He suddenly blurted out, his eyes wild with a mix of fear and anger. Blue was taken aback. What? No, I don't think so. I'm just a little late, that's all. There's no need to freak out. But Jamal wasn't listening. I can't believe this is happening, he said, shaking his head. I just lost my job, Blue. I have no money, no way to support a baby. This is a disaster. Blue tried to reason with him, to explain that they could figure things out together. But Jamal was spiraling, his insecurities and fears taking over. No, no, no. I can't do this. I can't be a father, not now. You need to leave, Blue. Get out of my house. Blue was stunned. What? Jamal, please, let's talk about this dash, I said, get out. Jamal shouted his voice trembling. I can't have you and a baby here, not when I have nothing to offer. Just go, Blue. Go. Tears streaming down her face, Blue had no choice but to gather her things and leave Jamal's apartment. She had nowhere to go, no one to turn to. She was completely and utterly stranded. As Blue wandered the dark streets, clutching her bag and trying to hold back her sobs, she couldn't believe what had just happened. One minute, she was happily planning a future with a man she loved. The next, he had kicked her out, convinced that she was pregnant and that he couldn't handle it. Blue tried calling her parents, but they weren't answering. She knew they were out of town, attending some high-profile event. She didn't want to bother them, especially with something like this. So Blue found herself alone, with nowhere to go. She walked aimlessly for hours, her mind racing. Where would she stay? What would she do? And was she really pregnant? The uncertainty was overwhelming. Eventually, Blue found herself at a small 24-hour diner. Exhausted and scared, she slipped into a booth in the corner and ordered a cup of coffee, just to have somewhere to sit and think. As she sipped the hot liquid, she felt the weight of her situation fully sink in. Blue had always been the responsible one, the one who had it all together. But now, she was completely adrift, with no idea what the future held. Would Jamal come to his senses and take her back? Or was this the end of their relationship? And what if she was pregnant? Could she even handle that, on top of everything else? He tears started flowing again, and Blue buried her face in her hands, her body shaking with sobs. She had never felt so alone, so scared, and so utterly lost. As Blue sat there, crying in the diner, a kind-looking older woman approached her table. Honey, are you alright? The woman asked her voice laced with concern. Blue looked up, her eyes red and puffy. E. I don't know, she admitted, her voice barely above a whisper. The woman slid into the booth across from Blue. Well, you look like you could use a friend. My name's Mabel. Why don't you tell me what's going on? Blue hesitated for a moment, but there was something about Mabel's warm, motherly presence that made her feel safe. So she opened up, pouring out the whole story, about Jamal, the possible pregnancy, and how she had ended up alone and stranded. Mabel listened intently, her brow furrowed with empathy. When Blue had finished, 
The older woman reached across the table and gave her hand a gentle squeeze. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry you're going through all this. It sounds like an absolute nightmare. Mabel paused, her eyes filled with concern. Do you have anywhere you can go? Any family or friends who can help? Over the next few days, Blue stayed with Mabel, and the older woman proved to be a true godsend. She made Blue feel safe and cared for, offering a listening ear and a shoulder to lean on whenever the emotions became too much. Mabel also helped Blue take the first steps towards getting her life back on track. She accompanied her to the pharmacy to take a pregnancy test, and when the results came back positive, Mabel was there to hold Blue's hand and offer words of comfort and encouragement. It's going to be okay, honey, Mabel would say, her voice soothing. We'll figure this out together. You're not alone. With Mabel's support, Blue began to regain her footing. She reached out to her parents, who were shocked and concerned to hear what had happened, but immediately booked a flight home to be by their daughter's side. Blue also mustered the courage to call Jamal, hoping they could have a rational discussion about the situation. And slowly but surely, Blue started to believe that. With Mabel's unwavering support and her parents' love and guidance, Blue began to envision a future for herself and her baby. She knew it wouldn't be easy, but she was determined to face the challenges head-on. We're here for you, sweetheart, Blue's mom Beyoncé would say, her eyes shining with pride. You're going to be an amazing mom, just like I know you are. Blue's dad, Jay-Z, was equally supportive, vowing to be there for his grandchild every step of the way. You've got this, Blue, he would tell her, his voice filled with unwavering belief. We're all in this together. With her family and Mabel by her side, Blue began to feel a sense of empowerment and resilience that she had never known before. She was no longer the scared, lost girl who had been kicked out of her boyfriend's apartment. She was a strong, capable woman, ready to take on the challenges of motherhood with grace and determination. And as Blue looked towards the future, she couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement and hope. Yes, the road ahead would be difficult, but she knew that she had the love and support she needed to overcome any obstacle. Thanks for watching everyone, and until next time, take care.